Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have a new knife to show you, and that is the Case Kinzua. I believe that's how you would say that, Kinzua or Kinzua. So if I pronounce that wrong, forgive me. But um, I, I picked this up mostly out of curiosity, and I wanted blue. I think blue's a pretty color, and I wanted the spear point because I just think that would have been the best or more easily maintained blade shape than a tanto when you are probably not close to a guided sharpening system but um i have to say i to be clear i haven't even used this thing i am actually going to be sending it right back to where i bought it and it was from a seller on ebay who had a lot of good reviews and and everything like that but the knife itself i don't know i mean all the reviews i had watched seemed to say good things about this knife and I mean, I like the flipping action. Um, the detent is pretty strong, and having to get over it's pretty rough. The knife itself, well, let, let's get into it, okay? So, this is a modern flipper from Case Knives, and they're mostly known for their traditional knives. And for me, I was really interested in this because, well, well, I mean, like, you've got a lot of good things here. You've got S35VN, which is stonewashed. And I actually like how used this looks. I, I like that because I'm not afraid to put a scratch on it. And um, for me, I really like how they did the etching. The etching's really nice and deep. It's not a high etch. It's actually kind of engraved in there. And I actually really do like that. It's deep. It's authoritative and it's very small and straight to the point. You've got the name, you've got the steel, and you've got where it's made from. And then over here you have the brand. And you can see that that's really deep. So for me, I like that. But to be honest, the finishing on this wasn't that great. The pivot here looks a little rough. Um, the screws themselves look decent i mean they're they're well done but the pivot screw there i just don't have a lot of faith in that that looks really that looks already mild up so um not really happy about that but let's get into my real problem is the lockup it's very very light and i don't know if you can see the flex in that i'm gonna have to zoom in here but i'm gonna try and hold this as steady as I can. Man, that's going to be hard to show. Maybe you can see that now. But you can see here, if I could go any further on the zoom, that there's quite a bit of flex. And you can see the blade moving up and down and wiggling. You can see that there in the light. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of play. And I'm going to try and hold this as steady as I can. I, I think you get the point. I mean, like, I, I can see play even just holding it. You can see the blade moving. And then you can also feel it. So for me, I don't really feel like that lockup's very strong. Um, also, if I push the lockup further, you can hear it. Like you can actually see me actually push that farther to where it would be. And that's actually solid. Like that's, that's bank vault solid. That's where I want it to be, but it's not. So for me, it's very weak very weak like I can even go back almost to here like halfway and unlock it okay that that's how weak that is so not really happy there pocket clip didn't bother me I pulled that out of my pants no problem um, but this lockup for me I can just feel this flexing in my hand as I do this I can feel that buckling and and for me being a frame lock, that's that's no go. Um, doesn't give me a lot of faith in aluminum frame locks, to be honest. I'm probably going to be sticking with a titanium. And for me personally, I really like this knife. I really wanted to like this knife and give Case a chance, but 
man, it might be a while till I pick one of these up. The action on it's good, but the detent on this is pretty strong um, when it comes to getting over the ball. The detent itself is pretty light. It flips great. I think it's a great flipper. I'll give them that. Um, the criticisms regarding the jimping here is true. Um, this is pretty weak jimping, and I don't like strong jimping, but I mean, look at the finishing on that, though. I mean, that, you're paying $115, but I mean, I'm expecting a little bit better with my money on that, especially coming from Case. So, um, a little sad on that, and I haven't spine whacked this yet, but just me doing this, I can feel, and you can probably hear, that, yeah, you can feel that blade actually going back and forth and hitting the blade stop. So. I'm sorry, you guys, but th this one is just not going to be a keeper. And I really am not somebody that likes to send back knives. If I don't like it, I'll kind of gift it to somebody, sell it to them for about 30 bucks cheaper than what I paid. And um, But this one here, I actually didn't even want to deal with Case's warranty. Um, I still haven't sent out the ones that I have, but for something like this, man, even after them dealing with it, I just don't have a lot of faith in it. And um, I'm just going to want my money back and probably put that into something else. So this is my review. I can't really get in real intense with the review itself because, well, I mean, I haven't used it. I've only really flipped it open. That's it. But when it comes to the packaging, <clears throat> I will say Case has done it really well. They sent you a really nice box. They have some paperwork in there and then they have a small little card here that actually is like a cornerlet and that is pretty nice because it kind of just covers the corner there and it looks good and then your knife actually fits right there and it looks really nice I mean this is a really nice presentation um, but personally that frame lock ain't gonna do it for me so I'm sending this back tomorrow but I wanted to just get a little bit of a review out there and let you guys know what I thought of this knife and maybe you guys should probably spend your money somewhere else. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.